system, you click on this icon, bringing up your purchase order system. You start by clicking on the add button to add your purchase order. And it's going to look like this. You're going to have a purchase order number automatically assigned, your order date. Uh, you're going to select the vendor who orders the items. And you're going to click on OK. Then you're going to click down into this bottom section. And you're going to add whatever parts you're looking to order. You can use the part lookup button to access your inventory and you can order the number of items you want. You can also save that. Now if you went in here and you added a part and you wondered, well, geez, I wonder if this part is going to be something I want to order all the time. You could click on the part and then you could check the history of that item if you want to just by clicking on the part checking on the history. That will allow you to adjust how many you've got on order. So once you have the items in, in the uh, purchase order that you want to order, you're going to click on order all and you'll watch this red number right here of the items you're ordering change. So we're going to expect this on the 24th and it's going to order all the items and then you're going to see this gets red on this side showing it's ready to receive. When the items come in, you can click on the receive all button. If it's for a customer, it'll show you who it's for. You can put the quantity in any price changes you might have had and receive it. Now this one's just for you. Receive that, receive that, receive that. When it's received, you'll see the purchase order will go off the screen, but it's in history. So if you want to see, you can view all and you can see everything. Okay. Now before you receive those, like I'm, this one here hasn't been ordered yet, so I can say order all. I can order the items in the purchase order and then if I want to I can print the report and send it to a fax machine you know go fax it to somebody or I can click on the email and if the vendor's email is filled out it'll email the order to them so that's part one of the purchase order and that's where most people will spend most of their time uh, part two of the purchase order I can go into a repair order and I can order some items. Okay, so here's the items I'm going to order. I don't have them in stock. Okay, so just put those in there. You'll see that they're inventory items. Okay, so this one right here is an inventory item. This one is already on order. You can see the check mark right there. So if I want to add that to a purchase order, I can select the purchase order. And I'm going to order from VMT, so I'm going to have to create a purchase order. And then select it. And take the items I want to order and drop them in here. That's going to put them into the purchase order. And you can see this check mark now tells you you've got it in a purchase order. So now if you go back to the purchase order screen, and you look at purchase order number nine, you'll see I have spark plugs in here. And I can add more items if I want. When I'm ready, I click on order all. Then I either print it and fax it, or I email it to the vendor, and I'm ready to go. Then when the parts come in, I can just click on receive all, and you're ready to go. So that will automatically update your inventory, and you'll be all set. So enjoy the purchase order.